Hi, I'm Cliff. I'm at the Nevada State Railroad Museum. I'm going to talk about swing trucks because I didn't know about them before today. This is a VNT flat car with with swing trucks, and it's interesting because swing trucks have most of their moving parts hidden. That's why they're so mysterious. So anyway, to start out, we have the whole mass of the car body riding, resting upon two king pins and king posts and their bearings right in the center there. And those are resting on the body bolster. That's this steel thing that start, that's it's actually bolted beneath the wood, goes across, there's the center part, and then to the other side. So nothing's riding directly on wood. Now, that center post is resting upon uh, a beam that you can't see because it's hidden between all this stuff. It's up in there. That's the pivoting beam, and it pivots relative to the car body. And it's, it's, it, has bear, it has pedestals on either, either side of this beam, and there's the bearing surface right there. So this... This whole thing moves fore and aft so the, tr the uh, support beam can swivel, pivot beneath the car body. Now, what's supporting that beam? I can tell you it's not the truck frame. That beam is resting upon two springs on either side. You can see Two, two there, barely, and they're diagonally mounted. And those are mounted to yet another beam. Right there. And that's supporting the springs, which support the hidden beam that pivots about the body bolster that supports the frame of the car, all right? Now, again, you might wonder, well, is this mounted directly to the truck? No. It's supported by these pins, rods, that have a link on either side. These links allow the swinging motion of this beam side to side relative to the truck. And that's where the term swing truck comes into play. And that just relieves a lot of stress from the car body uh, as the track uh, goes through its imperfect uh, conditions. Now, where do these links go to? They go, they pass up past the springs between the main truck beams and they pin to pillow blocks on either side. There are four of these, four of these pillow blocks and they are resting upon the rigid beams that are actually attached to the truck. So in this way, the entire car and its load can be said to be a suspended load uh, upon the truck because it's suspended way down here by way of these links. So now we come to the main beams of the truck and that's these big big boys here and that is what is rigidly bolted to the truck frame. Now the truck frame is comprised of uh, an upper, an, an upper, intermediate, and lower set of strap iron. These are all just banged out and bolted together, and they're bolted with their journal boxes. The journal boxes are the actual bearings for the axles or they contain the bearings for the axles. And normally you'll see them 
with their lids closed, they open the lid to put in the grease. And we won't get into the, the brakes, but uh, you'll see these are truck mounted brakes hung by strap iron that runs transversely. And then the little links hold the brake beam and the big links hold the actual brake shoes. And these are all drawn together uh, towards the center of the truck when the brake system is energized. But anyway, there you have it, spring or swing trucks.